Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a Styler AI, a powerful AI image generation tool. We will explore its text to image and image to image features to generate stunning images. A Styler AI also has a generative fill feature similar to Adobe Firefly, which we will use to edit an image. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Don't miss these incredible images, all brought to life by the power of Styler AI. Styler AI is revolutionizing the way we create and experience art. Take a look at these stunning examples. The future of art is here. Styler AI is a new AI that empowers users to generate and edit images in creative ways. It's also an online image editor. This tool has a text-to-image capability and can turn your ideas into images based on text prompts. Using image-to-image -image capabilities and machine learning, Styler AI can transform ordinary images into artistic masterpieces. Styler AI's goal is to simplify the digital image design process through an intuitive interface and natural language processing. One of the key features of Styler AI is the wide range of internal artistic styles that can be applied to images with just a few clicks. There are 3D styles, pixel styles, pastel styles, and other options for changing the style of photos. Styler AI also supports drag and drop composition, high resolution exporting, and conversational language prompts for advanced customization. This makes the tool accessible for designers of all experience levels. With Styler AI, you can create new documents in various formats, including square, rectangular, and vertical and horizontal layouts with fully customizable aspect ratios, such as 16 to 9, 9 to 16, or 3 to 4. You can then use Styler AI's powerful text-to-image and image-to-image -image capabilities to generate stunning visuals. Styler AI also includes a unique feature called Generative Fill, which is similar to the recently introduced Adobe Firefly AI feature in Photoshop. Generative Fill allows you to use AI to edit and modify individual elements of your images with incredible precision. By taking advantage of the Generative Fill feature, Styler AI can remove backgrounds from photos and integrate multiple elements into composite images efficiently. Styler AI provides layers, cutouts, and advanced merging capabilities. Its AI assistant further aids the design process through natural language interactions. All of these powerful tools are aimed at unleashing users' creativity and streamlining their workflows. To get started with Styler AI, new users simply need to sign up on the website and create projects within the interface. Basic image editing and advanced generative AI features are available to experiment with. Through its impressive feature set and intuitive interface, Styler AI is changing the way digital art is created and helping artists take their visions to the next level. We visit the Styler AI website. This website is an artificial intelligence styler that has a lot of useful information about its features on its homepage. Be sure to review it. We create a free user account and log in. In the style library section of the styler website, various styles are seen and categorized by a number of tags. For example, when I click on the portrait photography tab, the styles related to portrait photography are displayed. Similarly, if I click on the interior design tab, the styles related to interior design are shown. Continuing, when I click on the character design tab, the styles related to character design are displayed. By clicking on the all tab, all styles can be viewed at once. To use Styler website features such as text to image and image to image, we first need to create a project. To do this, I click on the new project icon. I am directed to a new page where I am presented with a window to set up the canvas and workspace. I enter a name for the project, set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, and adjust the project dimensions to 1280 by 720, then click apply. If this window doesn't open for you or closes during work, there's no problem. Click on the name and dimensions of this page in the top section of the site, and the project settings window will reopen, allowing you to make any necessary changes. In this drop-down list, you can adjust the project's zoom level. In the free account, you are given 200 free tokens, which is a considerable amount. This credit is valid for one week, after which it will be recharged. The next recharge date for your account is also listed alongside the credit amount and tokens. On the top left of the site, there's an icon for move to relocate items on the canvas. 
a hand icon to move the canvas, and a T icon to insert text into the project. On the Styler website, we can transform our ideas into images using artificial intelligence. To convert text to an image, I click on the Text to Image button. In the next step, in the Choose a Style section, I can select a style from the available options to base the text to image conversion on. In the following prompt section, I type my ideas in text format. I have prepared a prompt beforehand and paste it by right clicking and selecting the paste option. Now I click on the Stylerize button. After a short while, thumbnails of four images generated based on the prompt are displayed. By hovering over these thumbnails, I can see the images in a larger size and review them. I select these thumbnails and then, by clicking on the Place on Canvas button, these images are added to my workspace. On the top right, we have a panel called Layers, similar to what exists in Photoshop, for managing layers. There's an eye icon next to each layer for toggling visibility. This way, we can review the images of each layer. By selecting each layer, an important toolbar is activated with tools such as Select, Background Removal, and Generative Fill, which I'll explain how to use later. First, with the eye icon, I activate the layer I want to save. With the export button, I can save the image of the selected layer. By clicking on the file type list, I can choose between JPEG and PNG image formats. In the upscale section, a drop-down list is provided to increase the image size, up to twice the size in the free panel. However, for an increase of three and four times the size, you need to upgrade and use paid panels. In the free account, watermarks are added to images, and to remove them, you need to upgrade and use paid panels. After that, I click on the export button, and now the image is saved, and I can review it. I want to share some helpful tips with you about writing a prompt. When preparing a prompt to generate images with AI, it's important to be very careful. A prompt that uses clear words and provides brief yet informative explanations will help the AI produce better images. Providing more details about your idea in a textual prompt, describing it fully and accurately, will result in generated images that are closer to your concept. Be sure to include words about the color and mood of the image in the prompt. Use simple language and understandable keywords in the prompt. Definitely mention the lighting conditions and atmosphere of the scene and images in the prompt. Specify styles like cyberpunk anime, 3D, cartoon and more in the prompt. You can even include details about camera lens, shutter speed, ISO and aperture in the prompt so the images are generated based on those parameters by the AI. By following these tips, the AI will produce images that are fully customized and personalized for you. In this tutorial, I intend to create an image with a specific style or, in other words, apply one of the styler styles to the text-to-image process so that the image is generated based on that style. To do this, I click again on the text-to-image button. The previous prompt is still in this section. I can either use the previous prompt or write a new one. I click on the Choose a Style option and select Paper Cutout from among the styles. With the Style Intensity parameter, I can change the intensity of the selected style using the slider. I increase it. Then I click on the Stylerize button. After a short while, new images are generated for me based on the Paper Cutout style. When I hover over the thumbnails, I see the images in large size. I choose whichever I prefer. By clicking on the Place on Canvas button, they are added to the Layers panel and the Workspace. By toggling the eye icon, we can view and browse the images in the workspace. Right-clicking on each layer reveals various options such as duplicate, delete, save, and more. I select the layer I want to save. I click on the export button. In the file type section, JPEG is selected, and I set the upscale section to 2x to increase the image size. I click on the export button. After a short while, the image is saved with twice the size. In the image-to-image -image process, we can alter all elements present in an image, even changing the style of an image to forms such as cartoons, anime, 3D, and more. First, I click on New Project. In the next step, in the Settings window, I enter a name for the project. I set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. I input dimensions 1280 by 720 in the Canvas Dimensions section, and then click on the Apply button. A new workspace is created. I click on Import Image button. I select an image from the hard drive and then upload it. After a short while, the image is uploaded and displayed on the workspace. I click on the Image to Image button. In the prompt box, by clicking on Auto Prompt, the AI Styler analyzes the image and converts its content into text. 
If I'm not satisfied with the prompt text, I can click again on auto prompt to generate a newer explanation about the image. I can also manually type the prompt text. I increase the structure match parameter. This refers to the ability to adjust how closely the generated image matches the original composite input in terms of visual structure and elements. The algorithm can tune how similar the output image is to the input in aspects like object placement, colors, and overall composition. This allows the user to control the level of accuracy and detail in the generated image compared to the visual structure and content of the input. In the Choose a Style section, I select a style from the list that I want the new image to be generated based on. I choose Delicate Aquarelle. I click on the Stylerize button. After a short while, thumbnails of the new images are displayed. I hover over them and the images appear larger. I select desired images. I click on place on canvas button and the images are added to the workspace. By toggling the visibility icon, I can compare the new images with the original image. By right clicking on each layer and selecting the delete option, I remove unwanted layers and images. I click again on the image to image button. In the choose a style section, I select paper cutout. I click on the stylerize button. After a short while, New images are created. I hover over them and the images appear larger. I select desired images. I click on place on canvas button and the images are added to the workspace. By toggling the visibility icon, I can compare the new images with the original image. By right clicking on each layer and selecting the delete option, I remove unwanted layers and images. I keep the layer that I want to be saved visible. I click on the export button. In the file type section, I select the JPEG option. The upscale parameter is set to 1x. I click on export and the output image in JPEG format is ready. In Styler AI, there's a feature called Generative Fill, similar to what exists in Photoshop, allowing you to edit and modify all elements of an image. This makes Styler AI a very powerful online image editor. I click on New Project. In the next step, in the settings window, I enter a name for the new project. I set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. I input dimensions 1280 by 720 in the canvas dimensions section and then click on the apply button. A new workspace is created. I click on the text to image button. I've prepared a prompt beforehand. In the prompt box, I right click and paste it. In the choose a style section, I select the realistic option. I click on stylerize. After a short while, new images are created. I hover over their thumbnails and the images appear larger. I select desired images. I click on the place on canvas button and the images are added to the workspace. I turn off layers and images that I don't need. When a layer is in selection mode, a toolbar appears above it. I click on the selection tool option. I select the mouth area in this image for modification. After selection in the new toolbar, I choose the generative fill option. A new box opens to input the prompt. Type in any changes you want to occur in the selected area. Here, I enter the word smile to change the mouth expression to a smile. I click on the generate option. Four new images are generated. By clicking on their thumbnails, I review them. Unfortunately, the images and changes were not satisfactory. I click on the refresh option to generate new images. Four new images are generated again. By clicking on their thumbnails, I review them. I select one and by clicking on put on canvas, I add it to the layer panel. By toggling the visibility icon, I compare the previous image with the new image and the changes. Using this method, you can utilize the generative fill feature to edit and modify images. I hope this tutorial helped you discover some cool things about Styler AI. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more fascinating AI content. Don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comments below. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for another AI adventure. And remember, the future of AI is bright, and we're all part of it.